Hi, my name's Al and I'm doing a little video on building a Lancaster at the minute and um, so far I've had a mobile phone to use so it's been a bit awkward. I've now actually decided to uh, get myself a camera and uh, so you can see both hands and I'm actually doing stuff for once rather than stuff, you know, in between stuff which is a bit boring I know. So um, today what I wanted to do uh, was show you my airbrush which I've just recently got um, I did a bit of a rookie mistake and um, first time I got it which was today I ended up breaking the I don't know if you can see that breaking the nozzle off and uh, which was a bit of a pain but luckily I had a spare so a bit of a learning curve don't use the spanner that comes included with this kit, just do it by hand. It's a lot easier. Um, but uh, this airbrush kit came with various size cups, it's a gravity fed one, it's unbranded, I don't really know what it is, but it comes with 2mm um, and 5mm nozzles, um, kind of decoupler, um, water filter. You know, it's dual action as well, it's alright, it does the job. And you can, uh, for those that aren't familiar with this type of model, you can use this screw to increase or decrease the airflow. And then here, you've got a screw to actually adjust the amount of paint it uses as well, which is quite handy. So, um, it's, it's not great to what I was using, it's kind of similar to, um, you know, a, a, good, a good decent um, airbrush. You know, like the badges and stuff like that, but I don't know what this is. Seems to be alright though. Um, so I'm just gonna just have a play with it. To be fair, so I use these Vallejo paints, right? And um, they're all right. They they, they go on well, but. When I first used them in an airbrush, it just they dried at the tip instantly and uh, just cause all sorts of clogging problems. Um, don't thin the model colour. This is they've got a model air range which is really good for an airbrush, um, but the, there's there's less choice. Uh, model colour you got a 256 plus um, range of colours and they all match all the other like the Tamias and the Revels and the, the Humbrols as well. So they're always handy, but they're really thick, uh, lots of pigments in them so they do clog up and you've got to thin them down. Um, don't thin them with alcohol, they don't like it. I tried that once, not again, it just uh, caused it to go really messy. So what I'm doing here, i um, just going to put um, just 10 drops of this. Just 10 drops, I don't want loads. And then I used water, but water dries a little bit soft. Um, so I bought this, um, the airbrush thinner, the Vallejo's range of, of airbrush thinners. Um, this is okay. Um, I'll just put five drops of this into my tent. See, and it comes with a little nozzle that you can just drop out of as well. It's quite expensive though, but uh, it's alright. Um, it'll last a while. And then I got this retarder medium as well, and what this does, it kind of just delays the drying time, so it um, it decreases the chance of drying at the tip. So I'm just going to put one drop of that in. It's quite thick. One drop, and you go. That's it. And then we'll give that a mix round. The reason why I'm not doing it straight into the cup is because I haven't got any decent paint stirrers. So I like to make it up in something like this first. There we go. Now, I'm relatively new to airbrushing, so just, you know, excuse me. <laughs> I mainly do a lot of base coating really, um, not really new to, to, you know, pretty much new to all the detailed stuff. There we 
go. It's got a little bit of paper here. And it's just really what I'm trying to do is just get the settings right, I suppose, because it's you know it's a new brush. Yeah, the um, previous nozzle I had um, was a little bit better than this. The one that I've got on now, the one that I broke was better than this one. This is from my old brush, and you can kind of tell it's from my old brush. However, with my old brush, I wasn't able to do stuff like that. So you've got a lot of control, mind. It's uh, there we are, increase the flow a lot. There we are, out of paint, so obviously it uses a lot, but it goes on quite nicely. Just a shame about the old uh, nozzle. It was a, I think this is a 3.5mm, the other one was a 3mm, um, so I've got a 2mm and a 5mm, oh, well when I say 2 and 5 I mean they're not 5mm wide, I should say 0 0.2, 0 0.3, this is 0 0.35 um, and I've got a 0 0.5 so when I say 3, 3.5 and, and 5 I mean that, I mean 0 0.3 and a half. you know what I mean? Better do, because I don't like explaining shit. So I'll just explain that. So there we go. So yeah, quite happy. Um, that nozzle's okay. I can work with that. So when I do um, more painting with the old model, it dries really well as well, mind. There's no run. There's no no real splatter in that uh, as well. So you know, happy. And no paint dried at the tip. All that paint flowed through my airbrush. Nothing at all. Cleaning now. What I generally do, I've got some airbrush cleaner. Just put in the nozzle there. And in there, and in this jar. This jar's cool, there's a vapour coming out the top. And it's just a case of making sure it's properly clean then. Just got some Q-tips, some airbrush, cl airbrush cleaner, airbrush cleaner, airbrush cleaner. There we are. Cups done. Simples. Just get around there a little bit. Get in there with it. Yeah, nozzles all looking good. I 
the reason why I'm cleaning it like this is because I can show you Kana. There we go, and we take this off. We can take the needle out and give that a little wipe down. go, pull that back in, don't force it down, it goes to a certain point, there we are. The reason why I'm just stuck in this, even though I've just given the inside, given given the inside a little bit, um, a little bit of a clean. <clears throat> just going to run a little bit more of the uh, cleaner for it. Only a little bit, not as much this time. That was kind of too much. Just a little bit there. There we are done. So we now have a completely clean airbrush ready to go away. Well, that's it for this episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you learned a little bit from it as you know, as some people do. Um, and I'm going to crack on with my modelling now. So, see ya.